yard in this video we are going to see about how to install the ubuntu 11.10 operating system first of all you boot from the ubuntu linux 11.10 log cd or any usb disk so so before that we want to take the backup of our old files so for that go to genome terminal type the command genome terminal then just type the command sudo bash sudo bash then type the command mount so it will this will show what are the devices mounted so next command i have run is fdisk minus l so i have already installed the operating system in, in this notebook it's called linux so you can see the file system called dell uh, utility and the ntfs ext so this is the uh, file uh, d sd6 i have already installed linux version it's ubuntu 11.04 so so i have created the directory called mkdir test then mount the linux partition to uh, to the test drive so so uh, so this uh, this partition is the windows partition so now i have created another directory called test1 it's mounted on uh, dsds6 test1 so it's a test1 is the i have mounted the linux partition in that to test1 so then i can go to the cd home so i want to take the backup of the folder home folder setup so uh, just type the what are the directory in this that uh, setup folder so i have copied that cp using the command cp minus rp home folder setup into that uh, into that the linux mounted that windows mounted partition test so it's i have it's downloaded so you can see that the 14 gb size of that folder so then i have then i have start the begin installation so it's a uh, uh, first to select the language english then uh, some preparing to install ubuntu uh, so if you want to download the software in installation time we can select the option of download update or install it install the third party software so minimum recommends at least 8 gb 8.6 gb is required or uh, then power supply is required whether the it is uh, stopped in our above installation time it will harm the hard disk then so i have the wireless pi network so if you want to connect means you can connect to the wireless network so if you don't want that connection remains you just select i don't want to the connection network. then the install detected you have the mounted partition so it's i have already mounted that some partition test to i want to test it to so they will automatically mount it from here okay so some option is here installing along the side so if you want to uh, install the ubuntu along the side means you just select install along the side so if you want to erase the disk and install means means second choose the section second option otherwise do the something else because you know the partition you want to save this lesson select the choose the something else so you can see that so this number of partition is there ntfs ex3 so so uh, my uh, uh, Linux old version is uh, DS, DS6 ex3. I have deleted the partition now. So it's uh, now you have the free space. Then I then I choose uh, choose the free space for install now. Uh, for uh, create the partition, create a new partition. So full mount point is root directory. I have choose the uh, latest join file file system format ex4. So ex4 mounted on root. So uh, you can check that uh, tick mark after that click the install now. So this is the warning machine, warning message we get. So if you want to continue, so if you want to enable swap space, because if we have want to uh, enough hard disk, we enough memory means we don't want. So normally uh, double and double to double uh, RAM uh, swap memory will given. So I have enough RAM in my laptop, so I haven't choose the given the swap memory. So then choose the time range in Indian time. 
so then click the keyboard layout in English so after that give the username so in normal Linux OS we need to give the authentication for entering the operating system so I have given my username so I'll have to my computer uh, name is Ubuntu Linux so if you want to another my name is you can your uh, for use you can uh, select the name and password so if, uh, if you have webcam enabled means you can select the photo and installation time so uh, there is some default images there I have taken my photograph and I have clicked the continue button then it's for the importing anything from your windows to uh, linux you can select the whichever option you need you can import uh, then it will uh, step by step installation over there. finally it's in the grub install on dsdh so installation finished so if you want to continue testing it you can continue otherwise you can click the restart now button okay thank you